How did I start the race weekend with this? And end it with this. This is that story. How I went from the ambulance to the podium. This is the Rotax Max Philippine Series finale. He's pole position, pero the lap times are super dikit dikit. As in, ikaw lang nung nine one, and then from P two to P five, it's all nine six. I was this close to second place, but I'm in P five. But a blink of an eye will get me to P two. So close. Here we go, it's the senior second heat and I honestly had a really great start battling out with the top 4 for the first 5 laps. Then in lap 6 or 7, a racing incident unfortunately took me out of the race. And it didn't just take me out of that heat, but it took me out for the rest of the day. My biggest worry when I was in the clinic was if there was a broken bone or anything of that matter. But thankfully, it was nothing more than just some scratched skin. So I was thinking, yay, I can actually race in the final, which is in an hour from now. But the cart wasn't ready. So I had to sit out the final for the day, which honestly was kind of fun because I could watch the race without feeling any pressure. But it was also annoying because I was supposed to be there. So yeah. Now let's just take this time to appreciate some B-roll shots from day one.
Fast forward 24 hours and we are in day 2. With my cart fixed, all I had to do was deal with the pain I had in my skin. Thankfully, it did not affect my pace one bit. Now this angle is quite rare when it comes to uh, video making here in Carmona and especially in the formation lap it shows the tension in the last few corners before the track how, how tense everything is, how everyone is thinking about their start and as shown by these corners you really have to concentrate you really have to make sure your engine doesn't bog or you're, you're not gonna jump to start because I've done that before and that's very tragic and this the shot captures it quite perfectly <laughs> Qualifying heats are among my favorite parts of every race weekend. The racing is always top notch here, as the races are shorter. Defending from the front runners in heat 1 was so fun, until I got hit with the dreaded drop bumper penalty. I went from 5th place to 11th place instantly as soon as I crossed the finish line. Team Pampana, Prime Ball Racing Team. Also, Sam Jim Jan, you can also check out Sam Jim Jan. I'll be honest, I was quite annoyed when I got the jump bumper penalty in Heat 1. So in Heat 2, I came back uh, determined. I was still starting from 3rd place, which is where I qualified. And I was determined to finish in the top 8, at least. And finish in the top 8, I did.
However, the most exciting part of the weekend, as usual, happened in the intermediate class final, where we thought Briggs had a drop bumper. Bricks did cross the finish line first, but as seen in our muted only thumbs up reaction, we did not actually think he won at this point. As shown by the reaction of her teammates when he actually did win the race. After winning one final, can Briggs keep it in the top three for the junior final? Right after the junior final was the senior final, my final. I was dropped down to, I think, 8th place to start the final with, and I had to claw my way back up. Luckily, like in Palawan, I've done this before.
Another thing I haven't said earlier in the vlog is that this is actually Gabby's final race in the local karting series, which is why that hug at the end was actually quite a genuine moment between us as it was our, our last local race as teammates, which was quite an emotional moment for me. Our first season as JGM Racing Team has ended up being a massive success, seeing me, Gabby, Bricks, Coach, and all the mechanics, and my dad and Tita Lali work very very well as a team, puts a very very big smile on my face, seeing that we could actually do something like this, we can actually run a racing team, and I just hope for the best for next year, but I thank everyone for supporting this year. And this is the end of the season, signing off.